I'm going to go from this to this. All right, I'm going to go in and get all this cut off. I'm not doing the pompadour anymore. It's too, too much. So today I'm going to do the flint. This is the this is the soap that I uh, added the orange uh, orange oil to. Um, it's okay. It's real soft soap, so I'm going to put some at the bottom of my bowl real quick. Okay, so. I'm going to uh, be shaving with both of these razors. This is the Top Flight in the Philharmonica. Uh, the only difference is that I rehoned them and uh, I took my time on, on the stones, uh, on the Shaptons that I bought. Uh, I just took my time on, did a few extra laps, and then instead of going to the uh, Toma Blue, I went back old school, my old school, which is the lapping sheet which is a 0.3 micron or 60,000 grit to finish the polish and I did a video before using these two uh, but I had some music playing in the background so they wouldn't let me play it so oh and yes I'm growing a mustache too so uh, the scent of my soap is really nice and orangey uh, it's not overpowering uh, I'm not sure if I got enough in here uh, one thing about putting putting uh, soft soap at the bottom of bowls is that it could just lift off and not really uh, get any abrasive action to it. So, let's see what this does. See, it's a little thin. So, I'll go get my hair cut by this woman. Oh. She's been trying to get under my loincloth ever since I met her. Uh, so, and it's funny because, you know, all you do, all I do, is just start talking about my wife. <laughs> and it's like, it puts a target on your back or something, you know, it's just kind of weird, but uh, her, she cuts good hair. And she's not too aggressive or nothing, but some women are really aggressive. Some women like to put their hands on you and shit. So, look at the edge on this. Uh, there, this is a pretty flawless edge. There's not anything going on with this edge that I do not approve of. So... Got my old filly back. So I'm going to get my hair cut, and afterwards I'm going to go get me some Hankook tires for my Xterra. Those are good tires, man. I put I put those on my Jeep. I built up my Jeep. So nice. Here's the top flight. Again, just a pretty much a flawless uh, edge. Uh, let's see if I can capture it. Anyway, I don't see anything wrong with this edge either. And I probably could have got away without using the lapping sheet. Just touch myself with that damn spike right there. Both blades are 
comfortable, they cut well. So, in the orange sense, the orange uh, oil. Oh, I can't remember. I was looking for. I couldn't find it, but uh, things a food grade oil. So. Uh, if it's food grade, then it's good. It's good for you. It's not going to cause any irritation. Unless you got a specific uh, <clears throat> I think my soap has got too much water in it. I don't think I'm going to mess with it too much. Good to have my wife back. to make a steak uh, omelet out, out of those uh, the, the other half of those ribeyes I cooked but we just saved them just heated them back up and made it ate the same thing again that's pretty good spike I need to know about or what? Try to cut myself again. Oh I did right there. My wife just got back <clears throat> from visiting her mother and uh, and everything and uh, her mother is like 80 and just now she's having trouble getting around. So basically just went over there and worked. A lot of the time, not all of itself. So mm, how did I cut myself? I can't even see. Uh, so now well, before she left, <clears throat> this is a barrister and man soap, is what this is. It, it does lather very nice. Oh no, this isn't a barrister and man soap. Through the fire is what it's from. Lathers very well. I like it. Uh, I think I'm going to have to try a different way to build my lather because I got mine just too loose. Uh, and I didn't think I had that much water in it. I want to finish off with my filly. Oh, so my one there seems, the spike seems to have a little issue that I can't see. So I'm going to check it out. Where Dad's been having some issues too. She's been trying to get over there the past six months, and he just he just don't want her to come over. I don't know why. So you uh, respect their privacy. You know, people knock on my door. I don't let them in here. 
neighbors. I don't let I don't let anyone in here. I don't want anyone coming in here. Uh, so uh, a couple weeks ago, though, he suffered a stroke and has been having trouble. He's been having trouble with his speech and <coughs> even it affected his hearing on the one side. So he's been having some issues and the place he's at up there by Seattle is a... Sounds like a fucking insane asylum because of all the people that are in that facility, uh, they have one phone that they pass around and this there's so there's no phone in each place, you know what I mean? And so it's kind of a drag because, oh yeah, that's nice, really nice. So Michelle's been having the, uh, for the past four days, been trying to get a hold of her dad and talk to him, see how the hell he is, because she's got a Thanksgiving, oh, uh, I think she says she's got the whole week of Thanksgiving week off, which is incredible. Best thing about straight, you use that little tip right there. You cut all this stuff in around your goatee and all this, man. It's pretty cool. I need to get up here. So, I'll be right back. Oh, that's probably how it's done right there. Now, sometimes I grow a mustache and I don't like it because damn hairs go ping, stick up and take my nose and crap even if I wax it but so I try to keep it short right here just to avoid that so, that is that. I just love razors that might make sure it works. See it? I have to put the specific pencil there too, so be right back. Say goodbye to the pump. I don't know how I'm going to style my hair or what to put in it. I guess I, guess I could keep trying to fisticuffs, just put it in super light or something. So... <sighs> Today I'm going to be using and dusting off the Clubman by Panad Special Reserve. Uh, it's got a pretty, pretty strong scent to it. So I also wanted to show off a razor. This one is called, this is a Jim, uh, Jim Jr. I don't know if it's Jim Jr., but it's a Jim. It's called a Bullet because it has the, it opens right up, look at that. This one's slick. These little bastards shave really good and they're not that expensive. You can find them at antique stores all over the place and they're always in good shape. Just make sure you check it out, open it and close it. Make sure it closes right on each side, everything like that. But, uh, all right, man, thanks for hanging with me. This is Guy Solis, Gentleman's Edge. I'm heading out to get some tires and a haircut later.